guys, who's Boy24 here, also known as Dan, and we finally got FIFA 14. This is one of the games I always buy, always look forward to in the year. And I got it today through my door. I got it from Amazon for, I think, £39, and it was EA who were delivering. Very legit way to get it for cheap as well. Uh, if, you, if you haven't got it yet and you're looking for a cheap way to buy it, because I have seen some stores that are selling it for 45 quid. So if you want to save, you know, five pounds or, you know, a couple of pounds or so, then go ahead and do so. Now go and get it from Amazon. So I got it today, right now, and the first thing I do is always go on Ultimate Team, and that's what we did. Uh, try to find Ultimate Team. Luckily I played the demo, so I know basically the uh, structures and where the things are, so that helped a bit, but it didn't take long to find the Ultimate Team block, and that's when we selected it. And um, here I'm at, at the, well, not right now, I am basically just making my name, and uh, my club name is called iClub. I don't know why, it's just, you know, iPhone, iPads, iPods. I used the i from the Apple and then called it iClub because it's my club name. If you understand me, uh, if you're tech and gamer, then you'll understand why I chose uh, iClub. And then abbreviation, I just went ICL uh, at the end. And then I confirmed the club name and yeah, I was pretty sure, so I clicked the yes button. And uh, that was one task out of 12, 12 left to do, and there in total there was 13 obviously, and we'll finally get our goal pack eventually once we complete, and can be bothered to do it, but you know the manager thing is pretty cool, you know manager tasks and so on, so I switch to play, uh, before I do that I'm going to show you my squad, it is pretty crap as usual, when you start up you get the worst team in the world, but actually they have finally given you gold players or silvers, so that's when I added them into my team. Uh, because normally in FIFA Ultimate Teams, when he first starts up, you get just bronze. And they can't do anything. Uh, finally, we get some gold plays. And they do help us out throughout the game. And yeah, then we go to the online season. Finally, they've added loads of seasons. We're in Division 10. And who is still in Division 10 in six months' time and have bought the game today? You are pretty shocking. And just give up, sell the game, because you're pretty much a the worst player in FIFA, to be honest. Come on, Division 10 is probably the easiest division in the world, and shouldn't take you that long. So hopefully, we'll go through every single division throughout the whole way, and win some packs. Uh, this is Race to Division 1, if you haven't known, or haven't known yet. Uh, yeah, so yeah, we finally met our opponents, it's called Mendoza, or something like that. Yeah, Mendoza Juniors, and the abbreviation of this club is MEN, which I found pretty interesting as well. And yeah, he has some goal players as well, but not like many chemistry link-ups. We do get some chemistry link-ups with the Spaniards, and yeah, I think we could beat this team. Oh, obviously, this is not live. I know what the result is right now, but you know, I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. If you do want a live commentary, sometimes... I will be doing it, it's just that it gets noisy because my fan starts to blow the heck out of it. So it just goes, bzzz. yeah, you just don't want to hear that. But anyway, we were off. Uh, it was a pretty hard game, to be honest, because we were playing with bronze. But we finally slipped a through ball, and we were one-on-one -on -one with the keeper until the keeper became a tank and just kicked the ball as far as he could. And then we got the ball back, and we lost it, and now we gave it to the oppositions. And they played a brilliant ball down the line to this guy here, forgot what his name is, can't be asked to know, and I was just keeping him in the corner until I thought, crap, just giving it a penalty, but no, it looks like this referee needs to go to spec savers and check out where the box is, because I'm pretty sure that was inside the penalty box and not outside the box, but anyway, that was a the worst free kick ever, and that was fine, and plus, the plus side, we didn't get a player sent off as well, at, or concede a goal because we didn't get a penalty. But anyway, we were going down the line, played a brilliant cross in, and what a header, which hits the crossbar, and goes out for a goal kick. That was the closest shot I had, and we were getting closer and closer. Now again, down the line, I cut in, cut in, and a uh, brilliant shot, it just stumps the goalie. The goalie just goes flying back, as you see there. And we get another attack, we were staying there, right in that area for like five minutes, trying to get a goal. We finally get a shot in, but a great save, which he... Uh, Tips over the post or out for the post for a corner. We whip one in and nothing much happens. We get 
the ball and we slice it basically it just goes wide it was terrible i think he's my center backs quite a usual uh defending shots there defender shot and yeah that was game it's half the game to be honest it, yeah don't know what i'm saying but yeah that was half time that was a bit simple to say half time not complicated stuff that i was about to say and yeah i was ready to begin to score a goal uh not prepared for the other team to score and me to lose but yeah we were off 45 minutes begins and we had the ball and what a challenge dirty play there and the player gets sent off congratulations ref you did a brilliant decision as usual you know you weren't as bad in fifa 13 wink wink and yeah we get another ball that we slip in and yeah we try to chip over the keeper and then i just somehow just missed an open goal it just shows you how bad bronze players are and how overpowered they are from last year and then we get a throw in which we muck up but then we regain the possession we play it to this guy here he plays a through ball finesse shot to the bottom right corner but the keeper saves it and then he mucks it up and yeah that was basically it it was so hard to score guys but it wasn't over until this keeper made this stupidest mistake which i always make to pass it to me i shoot he saves i shoot i score bottom left corner with a header and it was one nil guys we were actually winning we were gonna get a clean record and we just needed to keep this but could we get another goal i was not sure because it was too hard and they were decided to attack even more so what i did i played a through ball and i was about to sweat to get to the right but decided not to the goalie gave me the ball again and it was an open goal so what i did was place it gently and calmly into the goal without missing like last time and yeah that was basically it guys it was 2-0 to i club it was a great clean record we got one win out of one game and we have three points in the bag. I'm not sure how many points we need to get. But yeah, you're going to check that out later. At the end of the video, how many points we need to get to get promoted to Division 9. Uh, I'm HughesBoy24. Make sure to subscribe, like the video. And give me some feedback on how I can improve. And make sure to watch Episode 2. Okay, bye-bye.